So here in Illustrator, uh, we're looking at a problem of when I have a graphic in Illustrator, I want to bring it into After Effects that the color profiles look a little bit different. The sun looks a little darker, a little lighter. So let's take a look at this. This particular file in Illustrator, let's look at its color mode. It's set up as CMYK. So I go to Document Color Mode. I see it's CMYK color. OK, that's what it's saved as. I'm going to save it to be on the save side. Here is the file. When I bring in that CMYK Illustrator file, into a new composition here. Let me just make a new composition, say OK, doesn't really matter. I'm going to click and drag and bring it in. I can bring it into the project panel or directly onto here or the layer panel, doesn't really matter. And I see a significant difference in the color. I see they're kind of a little bit more washed out than what I see here in my Illustrator. And obviously I'm working on one monitor and that shouldn't be the case. But what I can do here is a couple things. Well, number one, I can go to my um, project Sorry, in After Effects, I can go to my project settings down here, and I can potentially change up my color settings to something else. Now, this one, Working Space, it's always set to None, but I change it to SR sRGB because that's what this color space is in Illustrator. If I go to Illustrator, and I go to Edit, and I go to my color settings, I see that, yeah, it's also set up in sRGB. Okay, so those are, the, uh, those are currently the same. I make sure that's the same, and this is still the color I'm getting, which isn't great. But what I should do, if I do have this issue, is maybe convert my Illustrator file to RGB, because I'm working with RGB in After Effects. So let's try that and see what happens. File, color mode, RGB, and now I'm gonna notice a bit of a change in the way this looks, so that got a little bit darker, so something happened there, but I would fine tune it here in Illustrator. So let's save this project now, we're gonna save that. And now it's saved down here because that's the file. And I'm actually going to bring, oh, actually I didn't have to do anything. It updated it for me. Once I save that, I, uh, it, it changed it here or I could just bring it back in, but it updated it. And now look at my colors. My colors are identical or obviously very, very close. So that is one way to make sure that we can make sure our colors here in Illustrator will match in After Effects. Remember, this is an RGB program in terms, it's a digital display program. It's not for print. And here I'm using an RGB profile and that's how we can kind of get those two to connect properly.